Let's learn how to diagram chase when proving facts about functions. Suppose we start with three sets a, b, and c. If we imagine that f is a function from a to b and g is a function from b to c, then the theorem we want to prove is that if g composed f is injective and f is surjective, then g is injective. In order to do this, we first need to revisit the definitions of injectivity and surjectivity for functions. Recall that if f is a function between two sets a and b, then we're going to call f an injective function if for every pair of elements a1 and a2 in the domain, the condition that a1 and a2 map to the same element in the codomain b must imply that a1 and a2 are exactly the same element of a. So we can't have two elements mapping to one. On the other hand, if f is a function from a to b, then we'll call f a surjective function if, for every element little b in the codomain b, there must exist an element little a in the domain a such that a maps to b. That is, it satisfies the relation f of a equals b. This means that every element of b can be mapped to from an element of a. Equipped with these two definitions, we're now ready to prove the theorem at hand. We begin our proof by first stating our assumptions that g compose f is injective and f is surjective. Next, because we want to prove that g is an injective function, we start with two arbitrary elements b1 and b2 in the set b, and we assume that they map to the same element of c, so that g of b1 equals g of b2. At this point, according to the definition of an injective function, if we can show that b1 equals b2, that is that they're the same element of the set b, then we will have proved that g is injective. Now by assumption f is a surjective function, so there must be an element a1 in a that maps to b1, so that means that f of a1 equals b1. Likewise, there's also an element a2 in a that maps to b2, so that f of a2 equals b2. But then according to the definition of composition, this means that g of f of a1 equals g of f of a2, so that g composed f of a1 equals g composed f of a2. Because g composed f is an injective function, and a1 and a2 map to the same element in the codomain c, we must conclude that a1 and a2 are the same element. If we let a represent the equal elements a1 and a2, then we see a problem here when we remember the definition of a function. Recall that a relation is a function if every element in the domain A is paired uniquely with an element of the codomain B. That is, every element in A maps to one and only one element in the codomain B. But if we revisit our picture here, we see that a maps to two elements, and therefore f of a must be b1 and f of a must be b2, so b1 must be equal to b2. Because b1 and b2 were arbitrary, and we proved that if they map to the same element they must be equal, we have to conclude that g is an injective function by definition. This is only one specific example of diagram chasing in proofs about functions but we have encountered all of the important definitions when proving things about functions, including what it means for a relation to be a function, what it means for a function to be injective and surjective, and how to use the composition of two functions. Why don't you have a go at this yourself now? Imagine that a and b and c are three sets, and that f is a function from a to b, and g is a function from b to c. Suppose that g is injective, and g composed f is surjective. Prove that f is surjective.